Hey there guys, thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. My name is John Campia and this is a special user submitted question. Now, what happens is every day on the John Campia show, Monday through Friday, we take live questions and every once in a while somebody sends in a tip of like $50 or more and I'd like to honor that by not only answering their question in the live show, but I also like to answer it again in its own standalone video. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Jeff Crow writes, a Quiet Place 2 was supposed to come out today, and this was obviously a few days ago, and I am bummed not able to watch it because of the shutdown. My question is, when the theaters start opening back up, will A Quiet Place 2 be one of the first films to release, or will it get a new release date? All right, thanks a lot for writing that in, man. And yes, unfortunately, as with a lot of stuff in every area of life right now, the movie industry is definitely being affected, and that's what we're here to talk about, how this affects the movie industry. And one of the big effects, of course, been a lot of the big high profile films that we've been very much looking forward to, like A Quiet Place 2, are getting delayed. And that's understandable because the theaters aren't even open right now. And Quiet Place 2, which I will tell you is my most anticipated film of the year, because A Quiet Place, the first one, was actually my favorite film of the year, the, the year that it came out. So the question becomes, whenever the theaters open, whether that's really, really soon or maybe a month or two or a little bit more down the line, Will a movie like A Quiet Place 2, which was supposed to be in theaters already, be one of the first films to hit theaters? And my answer to that is, well, no, probably not. And here's why I'm saying no, probably not. Releasing a film is the final event in a chain of events that need to happen leading up to a film's release, right? So it's not just like, oh, let's just take this movie and drop it open and then just have it open in theaters and blah, blah, blah. What happens is there's a big ad campaign, a big marketing campaign of billboards and newspaper ads and television spots, and most importantly, trailers, where they want to make sure they have a good buildup and get a lot of momentum going with buzz and word of mouth and public awareness of the project. And then the final piece of that puzzle is the actual release of the movie. With The Quiet Place 2, this is too potentially big of a film. Now, it's not going to be a billion dollar film or anything like that, but it's going to be a big film. And it's too potentially big of a film to just drop without that proper marketing. And what will happen is we won't really know when the theaters are going to open. So what will happen is A Quiet Place 2 at some point will set a new release date. And they'll set that release date in such a way that they know they're going to have, say, a good two-month period to build up to it. Uh, with a proper marketing and ad campaign to make sure they have as big of an opening weekend as possible to make sure as many people are as aware as possible that their film is coming out. And that's what they'll want to do. So my guess is, and I'm just speculating here just like everybody else, but my guess is we'll probably know about a week or so in advance of when the movie theaters are going to open again. At that point, Quiet Place 2 will reschedule. They'll set when their release date will be that will give them at least a good two months to build up. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a six-month wait. Maybe it'll be a year wait. I'm just thinking it'll probably be close to at least two months away for them to get that marketing campaign out and raise that awareness, and then it'll come out. So, no, I'm not expecting, unfortunately, for Quiet Place 2 to be in theaters the day they open back up. Question is, guys... What do you think about it? Hey, I'm just speculating. Maybe there's something I'm not taking in consideration here. Are you looking forward to the movie? I know I certainly am. Jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys, that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for being here. My name is John Campia, and until the next video, bye-bye.